motivations? What are your motivations? My family motivates me all the time. Sometimes okay. My, my parents motivates me a lot. Yeah. When I have some, when I when I am in some problem, I and I don't have any idea to how to come out. Then I will talk to my mother, and my stress is gone now. Okay. And in terms of looking into five years time, uh, what are you looking to do in five years time? Where are you seeing yourself? Um, I want to be an author. I want to write autobiography. Mm -hmm. And I want to drive a car. I want to buy a car also. And, uh, le and learn to drive a car, how to drive a car. Yes. And, uh, when, when I am free, uh, when I am free, when my <laughs> child is grown up, now maybe I have time to spend uh, on some spending time on my cooking skills also i will give some time to my cooking skills mm -hmm. I want to complete my dream job like a chef okay good and in terms of your your cooking skills at the moment because i know you cook a lot have you tried something new this week no ma'am only only veg biryani only vegetable biryani this week Yes. <laughs> um, and with with regards to your to your inspirations, who are your inspirations? Mm, I inspired uh, uh, inspired uh, my husband inspired me a lot. Okay. And what? How does he inspire you? What does he do? What is what is my dream? I have not completed, not yet, right? Right. Then he inspired me a lot to complete your dreams. You want to do something, and you want to yeah. do uh, you want to do uh, something. Uh, maybe you want to make a career. Please, you will uh, make your career. I will give support. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. And how else? How else does he help you? What else does he do? Sorry, ma'am. Please repeat. How this. else does? Oh, sorry. How else does he help you? What else does he do? Mm. He talked me very politely. And mm -hmm. He gave me some. Uh, he he gave me some uh, some decisions how to choose a, a right path, how to grow. Mm -hmm. That's it, ma'am. Okay. And what about compliments? What's the best compliment you've received? Mm. Uh, best compliments from uh, my family members, my mother-in-law. I'm a very good daughter-in-law. Okay. And what in terms of your in terms of your husband, what's the best yes. compliment he's given you? Yes. <laughs> yes, he, he tells me you are a very beautiful and wonderful wife and a very genuine mother. Oh, that's uh, lovely. Yes. And when you've, because you, you were, I mean, doing a master's in science before. So when you, when you were doing that, did you ever receive compliments for your, for your scientific knowledge, for your research, anything of the sort? Yes, ma'am. From my uh, from my teachers, from my professor side, I'm a very very hardworking uh, woman. That time, I have completed my masters of science. Uh, I have completed my research also in my masters. Mm -hmm. I have botany. botany. Uh, so that's it, ma'am. I have a very good marks in my subjects in my own subjects. Okay, very good. I'm a and very student. I have uh, my attendance is every time full. Very good. That's fantastic. So all of these were positive things that they told you specifically when you were doing the course. 
Yes. So, so all of these things should motivate you now to become a fantastic author. Yes, ma'am. I have yeah. my master's of science. My master of science degree also motivates me. Mm -hmm. My husband motivates me also for my studies. So I am here only. Okay, brilliant. And with regards to um, writing, have you thought about possibly write possibly writing anything regarding um, re regarding your your scientific knowledge using your masters? Have you thought about the possibility of using that? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I have uh, done uh, a lot of researches on that in the practical room. We have practical room. Uh, we just went for a uh, for a field trip also with my okay. professors and with my uh, with my friends, classmates. We enjoyed a lot in my master's of science degree with my classmates also. Mm -hmm. And it's a okay. very good time. So have you thought of um, writing with anything related to that, though, re relating to your master's? Uh, Maybe I about have, science. Yes, ma'am. I have written a lot, uh, uh, like a practical book I have written there, researches. Mm -hmm. But I don't have here. Uh, uh, all the books are with my mother's in my, uh, in my native place my birthplace, all the books are there or here. I didn't remember very uh, now, very clearly. Oh, wow, okay. So you've done, you've done quite a lot, Kushbu. Um, you'll be glad to know I am now in on, on the laptop. So I'll be, I'll be coming in through the meeting now from the laptop. So hopefully um, I can get okay. to you in two seconds. Okay. Uh, now, as a completion of, to continue on to your question. Um, so now with regards to, um, with regards to um, it, movie scenes and book scenes, which is your favorite? Movie scenes or? Yeah, a book, or a book, a scene from a book, which is your favorite? Movie scenes from movie. Yes. Since, uh, I saw an Indian movie, uh, Sarukh Khan's movie. is a very famous actor. Didi Aljit Dilwale Dulhaniya Le Jayenge. I. Uh, it's a very famous scene. It's a, a kind of love, uh, uh, love scene. Uh, his actor is going in the train. That actor is going in the train, and he leaves his actors due to family uh, bonding. Family is against about his love marriage. Or actor's father is very actor's actor's father is very traditional, uh, and desires and he denies love marriage. So in the last, her family is going to be ready and lift her hand and let leave her very happily with uh, that actor. Okay, that's fantastic. There we and go. <laughs> I'm back, as you can see. I've been walking for forty. 45 minutes to get to your class That's and good. I was running through fields and horses <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, just to make it for your class just for your class I was running I said I can't miss their class and then I thought I told Vishal I told him I'll have to, I think I might have to do the first five minutes from outside because I can't run anymore <laughs> okay well sometime, sometime okay yes it's like an experiment for you today. It's a kind of experiment. How do I wish it wasn't? Yes. I wish I wish it wasn't. My 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 father-in-law went to start the car and he told me it's dead. And I went, What do you mean it's dead? I have to get to work. <laughs> okay. So I just left him. I said, Well, I'm gonna leave you with the car and I'm gonna run home. <laughs> today is an experiment for you also. Yeah, experiment with, with horses and and uh, horse poop as well. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, brilliant. Um, but I, I was listening to everything you were saying. Don't worry. I, I was walking and I had my, my mind all on you. So don't worry about that. And we will do another session um, at the end as well. Um, starting off with your now. Good evening, ma'am. Um, thank you, Kushbu. 
Thank you, ma'am. Hi, Yuraj. So I have Yuraj Junior right now. How are you, Yuraj? I'm fine, ma'am. Okay, so can you tell me a bit um, about your inspirations and motivations? Ma'am, ma'am, I as I have told you that I have a goal in my mind, which is I I want to become an IPS officer, and that goal motivates me a lot. Okay. Good. And how do you plan on getting there? What are you planning on doing? Ma'am, uh, I have uh, all the plans. Like uh, I have com I have to complete my uh, graduations. Uh, like this kind of things, ma'am. I have to complete uh, my all the exams. Mm -hmm. These kind of things, I okay, have to so, do. So you're focusing on doing your exams, doing your graduations, and then doing any exams and getting there. And how? What kind of subjects are you planning on taking? Ma, I'm planning uh, to take English subject. Okay. And what, uh, to what level are you planning on doing your English? What, what, what in English? Are, are you going to specialize in some, in some area of English? Or do you need, what do you need to, to take for English? Do you need literature? Are you focusing more on the grammar? Ma'am, I am totally focusing. Ma'am, ma I am totally focusing on a literature. On literature, okay. And what part of literature do you do you like most? What, ma'am? What part of literature do you like most? What what uh, authors are your favorite? Ma'am, uh, I I I just study through videos of YouTube. Uh -huh. uh, but but I don't know that who is it who is teaching me. I just watch his video. Okay. Uh, it made you fall in love with literature. Yes, ma'am. That's very good. Okay. And my next question to you is: If you won the lottery, what would you do with the money? Uh, if I won a lottery, then I will donate some money. To some mm -hmm. people who who really need it okay oh wow that's lovely and you wouldn't keep anything for yourself yes ma'am i will purchase something for me mm -hmm. okay um and what would you purchase what would you like ma'am i would like to purchase some toys some toys okay uh and anything in anything in particular anything that you really really like Mom. Uh, yes, mom. I like a remote control uh, car. Remote control car. Okay. Uh, can you describe it to me? Can you tell me a bit about it? Yes, mom. In this car, it this car is wireless. Mm -hmm. And uh, by remote, we can control it. And do you have a favorite color for this car? Yes, ma'am. I have uh, my favorite color, which is yellow. Yellow. Yes, ma'am. That's lovely. And what is your proudest achievement? Ma'am, my proudest, ma'am, my proudest achievement is that uh, in my uh, science exhibition, I have get second rank. Got second rank. You got second rank in your science. That's amazing. And what was your what was your project? What did you create? Ma, I have created a uh, like agricultural ma'am. It's it was totally dependent on agriculture. It was totally oh, an an agricultural. So you created. It was related to agriculture. You mean it was totally yes, related to agriculture? Yes, 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 ma'am. Very good. Okay, so I'll move on to Veena next, and then I'll come on to your account again for someone else. Okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Hello, Veena. Good evening, ma'am. How are you, Veena? I am fine. How are you? After running for forty-five minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know the way. I mean, um, I got, I was using my 
my phone trying to find find the navigation and I was going through fields and I was like someone is going to kill me today because I'm alone I'm a girl on my own running in a field on my own in a big field covered by another field and I don't know where I am and I was I was pretty sure I said this is how I die this is <laughs> but I wanted to make it desperately I wanted to make it back to work so I ran <laughs> <laughs> this is how much I love my work <laughs> and you made it I made it I made it <laughs> alive <laughs> uh, so so how was your day how have have you been have you had a good day uh today was a very good day it was a hectic a bit hectic because in mm -hmm. the morning I was having my online classes uh, okay. and then we had a meeting it was an uh, online meeting and all the staffs of Uh, our school were participating and then uh, my sisters are here actually i'm in my mother's home and it's a corona time we are celebrating corona like oh, wow. okay. <laughs> we are celebrating you're the only people on earth celebrating corona <laughs> because uh, my one of the sister she lives in pune and it's very far from our uh, home and i have not met her from i think since one year and this year she came while while by driving her car and okay. she is here for one month and we had a blast today we went to jungle and we had picnic we danced there and it was a oh, very good that's day. lovely and just now that's there, good now also they are having fun downstairs but i am having class upstairs okay well you won't be in class for too long okay <laughs> yes. so <laughs> what do you like most about yourself i'm always happy And you're always happy. Good. Yes. Either and, good. And how do you keep yourself always? Either good or bad. I just say it's just part of our life. The bad will go, mm -hmm. and it, the good will come. Okay. So and how? Can. So it is that that mental attitude that you have that that you always you always decide. Well, this is how I have to handle it. This is what it is, and I have to make the best of it. Yes. that's how you keep yourself happy good okay and we've spoken about your daily routine which today you didn't really stick to which is good um now can you tell me what makes you uncomfortable uh when somebody talks about the features of a woman that uh, how she is looking either she is fat or she is thin how she is wearing her dresses these things make me uncomfortable because it's okay. uh, and is mm -hmm. uh, thinking which affect us uh, uh -huh. i was going to say uh, what what is the reason behind it that makes you so uncomfortable yes it's it's the thinking of the people is, that people yeah. think that a girl wearing a jeans pant and a t-shirt is not a good girl and a girl wearing a sari is a very good girl it's not that it's the thinking yeah. mentality how we we are born and brought up that makes you think like this yeah okay and if i ask you what are you passionate about i'm passionate about learning new things every day i'm trying to learn something new either uh, okay. in in my subject or anything but i want to learn anything new i'm so every time searching on youtube if i could find some motivational videos or some something which i can teach the student with another way a new way of very teaching good. because the kids are very small so i have to every day i have to go and search to make them feel like they are in the school because in online classes you have to make it mm -hmm. a very happy environment Okay, very good. And can you tell me a bit about how you manage your anger? What do you do to manage your anger? Now I'm managing it. Uh, I think so. I achieve fifty percent uh, because I, when I'm very much angry, I just close my uh, close the door. I just uh, go to sleep for two hours, and when I wake up, I am okay. It's okay. I think it's okay. It was part of the life. It went. just control it it will go away so i think you've gotten better since i've been speaking to you uh 
you you you've changed i can see that you've changed i think you've gotten better in handling and handling your anger from the way you talk about it and from the way you react you react to it now yes i am uh, that that's my opinion uh, you can yes you... i am changing a bit every day i'm changing yeah. myself you 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 look you you look different Thank you look different you. you look so much happier it's true well done uh i'll move on to yuraj senior now yes ma'am hello uh is i might going to speak to your dad yes ma'am yes, yes. Uh, yes ma'am hello. hello how are you nice to meet good. you uh good evening ma'am e nice to talk uh, uh yes ma'am i'm ready to talk with you Fantastic. Okay, can you describe yourself in one word? Um, I am a, actually I am a teacher, and uh, I want to stay honest all, all the time. Okay. Um, so you could describe yourself as being honest, and what is it uh, that you think are your strengths? What are your strengths? Uh, actually. my strength is thinking in positive direction all the time mm -hmm. yes okay. uh, this is my strength on which i can proud on okay and what are your weaknesses weaknesses uh, sometimes i um, get angry but i am controlling uh, um, um my this uh, this problem okay uh how how are you managing your anger how do you manage your anger uh actually when i get angry and uh, at that time i used to stay alone and uh, try to let uh, let it forget um uh, for some time the uh, that uh, this is why i try to uh, this is how i try to manage my anger so you try to forget about it uh, right ma'am and simmer down mm. simmer down like like boiling water and then it start before and i before also it use uh, uh, exactly. uh, i uh, uh, i also use uh, so many mm, uh, things to uh, control my anger and uh, for example i can say i used to watch motivational videos i uh, used to read motivational books uh, at that time uh, to control my anger okay very good and if i ask you to describe a decision that you regretted oh what ma'am i didn't uh, uh, sorry got your you Uh, describe describe a decision that you regretted that you wish you hadn't done uh ma'am uh, uh there, there was a moment in my life when i decided to um, uh, do some uh, uh something different kind of job for me and uh, that job was not suitable according to my personality and i did that job for some time and when i did that job for some period in my life uh, i thought that it is not suiting according to my personality and uh, my uh, family members uh, was uh, were not also happy at that time also that was a decision that i regretted okay that you did something that you weren't passionate about at the end of the day okay um, right ma'am and am, if you yes yes uh, uh say you say uh, ma'am uh huh i was going to ask if you could retire tomorrow what would you do ma'am uh, after my retirement i would like to uh, live with all my uh, family members uh, happily uh, and uh, uh, and uh, i would like to um, cont uh, contribute to society by giving uh, uh, my uh, uh, 
good advice is uh, as a teacher to mm -hmm. do only good things and uh, this is all about my uh, all uh, all about my retirement plan your retirement plan okay that's that's good so you would follow completely your retirement you, you would follow your retirement plan and but you you love your job you love being a teacher yes ma'am this is true <laughs> i can imagine i totally understand okay it was lovely talking to you my last question for you is going to be if you win the lottery what would you do with the money actually ma'am uh, i would like to uh, buy a new house for my family uh, uh, in any uh, uh, not in any but especially in uh, my capital and the capital of my state is patna for my family and over there i would like to stay for all the time uh, for all the time for rest of my life over there Aww. with my family that's lovely. and uh, i would like to uh, save some money for uh, for my uh, rest of the life to live happily with my family members brilliant that's lovely well done it was lovely meeting you today. Thank you very much. I'm just going to pop over to Kushbu. Um, and well done, very, very well done. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Kushbu, are you still there? Yes, ma'am. Hello. Hello. Hello again. I just thought I'd give you just a bit of extra time just because I was outside, just so you don't think that I forget, forgot you or didn't, didn't think about you at all. OK, so. Um, can you tell me the importance of communication skills? Communication skills. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. What? What's the? Why are they? Are they important? And why yes or why no? Communication skills is uh, very important. It's to communicate effectively. Uh, communicate. Uh, being able to communicate effectively. Effectively. Effective. Effectively. Good. Effectively in order to deliver and understand the information. Very good. Good answer. And my question, my next question for you is going to be the same. If you were to describe to me uh, a decision that you regretted, what would it be? Mm -hmm. Ma'am, early marriage without thinking much about my career. My early marriage without thinking mm -hmm. much about my career. Okay. And my next question to you is what are the pros and cons of online classes? Okay, ma'am. Uh, online classes are going very well, but it's a very high tech nowadays. Uh, students or all the, uh, all the people doing very good. Uh, online classes but sometimes it affects it it will affect students the students are not going to give proper examination in the online classes and it's a kind of uh, you can't uh, didn't write too much just like uh, uh, options and just stick mark in the examinations it's not good for the kids also persons people is okay students are okay but uh, but uh, Small kids are not going very well in the online examinations. It's not. They are not uh, doing well a, now. Yes, not doing well. It's a kind of uh, uh, very less writing. Uh, it's like uh, not good for uh, kids. Not want to write also. Didn't didn't want to write very properly. Uh, I think that's only. Okay, and my last question for you is, what do you think happens in the future? All the things are very um, clean and very proper in the way in coming uh, days to COVID, all the things are going to be very neat and clean and kids are going to very high tech and uh, speaking or in the doing works in the actions disinfected 
disinfected. Everything and will be are... disinfected and sanit and very everything will be completely and sanitized. Yes. Yeah. And... Yes. Or uh, going very high tech. All the things are going very high tech nowadays. Uh -huh. we, uh, we are all doing uh, online classes, online uh, shoppings are coming very rapid, very rapidly in these times. Uh -huh. This time is uh, going very fast due to online classes. All the things are very disciplined uh, way, uh, very disciplined uh, uh, with all the family members and with all the teachers for students, kids, all are going very well and very properly. I think uh, on, the, uh, on the other side, uh, online classes are very... Um, uh, on very, the other hand? No? Yeah, on the other hand, not going very well or maybe maybe not enough not enough online classes are not enough for kids only people are okay remember the question now was about the future so <laughs> don't <laughs> don't 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 yes, lose track it's okay yes, that's okay that's all right don't worry it's because you mentioned two similar things and then you forgot what the question was that's all right yes, honestly, i just forgot it happens to the best of us. Don't worry. Well, well done for today. Okay. And thank you so much for putting up with that tiny bit of noise. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know how much it was in the background. Uh, but thank you very much for putting up with that at the beginning. But um, it was the only way how I could get get back. <laughs> thank, you. Um, thank you very much, guys. Very and I hope you have a lovely evening. Bye -bye. Thank you.